Hi guys, uh, welcome to Flash Fact. Today we're going to talk about the fourth color. Essentially, this universe online is about to add a fourth color that we can use to, to customize our characters. Uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, misconception or, or a misunderstanding as to what that fourth color will do to be able to allow us to customize our characters. Uh, essentially, each piece of gear will still have three colors that we can assign to that piece of gear. Heck, a lot of pieces of gear only have two colors that we can give uh, those pieces of gear. But what the fourth color will do is that instead of having to choose between three colors uh, as we can do right now uh, with our color palette, essentially they will add a fourth color to the color palette. So what that means is that each piece of gear will still have the same amount of colors as they have right now, but overall the character can be created using four colors. An example of that would be, well I will give a few, a few specific examples. So let's get started. So as an, as an example, let's take a look at our friend Alan Scott, the original Green Lantern. Essentially so far to recreate that look, uh, what I would use, I would use uh, red, yellow and green. So essentially the cape and the mask would be green, same as the pants. Now with a fourth color, I can, be, I can try to be a bit closer to the actual look of the character and I can have a purple mask and a purple cape and still keep the, the red chest and the green pants and everything else yellow. Again, each piece of gear cannot hold four colors. Uh, maybe in the future it will make uh, certain styles uh, that can actually have four color in one piece of gear. But essentially each piece of gear will not change. They will still hold the same amount of colors. For example, if we look at the bracers, like the bracers are yellow for the, the, the actual bracers and red for the hand. Uh, essentially, the, the, these are the sinister bracers and they've always been able to hold only two colors. Adi adding a fourth color will not change that. The only distinction it will make is that instead of being able to choose between three colors to be able to color those bracers, we're going to be able to choose amongst four colors in order to be able to color those bracers. So that's the main distinction that having a fourth color will make. Let's take a look at another character as an example. So let's take a look at our friend Wonder Woman as one more example. I essentially, we're, we're able to create a fairly close version of Wonder Woman uh, right now in this universe online, but sadly with three colors, we're a bit limited, uh, especially if we want to create the, the classic version of the character. If we create a new 52 version of the character, three color is fine. Uh, white, red, and blue is pretty much all you need because essentially with the new 52 version, they essentially turned everything that was uh, gold with the Wonder Woman into a silver. So essentially white, red, and, uh, and blue was, was more than fine to recreate her. But if you wanted to create the, the more classic version of the character that has some gold into the style, well, you needed a fourth color. A fourth color is, is much needed in order be, to be able to do that. So with the fourth color, is essentially what we're able to do is that we're able to have the gold uh, part of the classic Wonder Woman uh, but also we're, 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 at, we're able to have the red, white, and blue also. Uh, so previously with the gold, the, the compromise that we had to do was to, let's say, have the, the white stars would, would need to be gold. And essentially the white and the boots would also need to be gold. And also on the tiara, having some white on the tiara is a bit closer to the classic Wonder Woman. It doesn't show off uh, very well with the tiara that I'm using right now, but uh, essentially there's a tiara that I'm, I'm planning to get that, that's much closer to the actual look of the Wonder Woman. And it's going to allow me to have a, a white star essentially on the, on the tiara with uh, the fourth color. Again, each piece of gear will still hold the same amount of colors. So essentially the, the chest right now of, uh, that Wonder Woman is using can only hold two colors. In this case, I've used uh, red and yellow. Uh, that's not going to change with the fourth color. The fourth color only means that we're going, we're going to be able to choose between four colors when, uh, when coloring each pieces of gear, as opposed to uh, being limited to three colors as we are right now. But in, a lot, in the case of a lot of pieces of gear, it doesn't really matter because like right now the boots, the boots that Wonder Woman has right now, you can only fit two colors anyway. The same with the chest, uh, the same with the, the shorts, essentially the shorts, only two colors can be used for, for that. So uh, that won't change with the, the fourth color, but it's going to, to allow us to 
overall to create the the, 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 the the overall look of the character we are going to be able to have uh, four colors uh, in total and it's going to allow us to to essentially uh, uh, customize the look of a character a little bit more uh, again it's it won't be a game breaking but it, it's a nice uh, it's a nice addition that will allow us to to uh, possibly try and recreate the, the characters we want a bit more uh, let's, let's take a look at a few more examples uh, let's look at our friend Orion. Uh, essentially, we can create a, a fairly close uh, version of Orion already uh, with only three colors. But with three colors, we have to make some compromises. We have to uh, maybe make the helmet blue. The, ma the helmet and the, the belt probably would have to be blue because we, we probably could only use blue, red, and yellow. Uh, so in order to be able to have, let's say, gray on top of that, we need the fourth color. So with the fourth color, we're able to have red, yellow, blue, and gray to to try to be a, a, a little bit closer to the the actual look of uh, of our friend Orion. Uh, so as you can see, we, once we will we'll get the fourth color, we can make a fairly good approximation of of Orion. There's still a few a few distinction. Like we need probably a more proper belt, and uh, there's also this weird color that Orion has. Uh, around the neck, but until they actually come up with a, a proper Orion chest, this is about as close as, uh, as you can get to recreating Orion. Uh, again, it can be done with three colors. We, we, can, we can create a fairly good Orion with only three colors, but with three colors that means that either we decide to discard the yellow, or we decide to discard the gray and, and put the gray blue instead, or, or things like that. It's not it's not a big deal, but it's it's tiny uh, it's tiny subtleties that will allow us to to be able to create uh, characters that are either closer to the to the established character that we're trying to recreate, or it, it's going to give us a tiny bit more freedom to create uh, our own original characters if we if we want to. Again, once more, it will not change the amount of colors that each pieces of gear can hold. That will not change. Like the 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 essentially right now, you can see my Orion is using the stalwart defender uh, belt. That belt only holds one color, and that will still be true uh, when when the fourth color gets added. Uh, again, the only distinction is that that fourth that that belt, instead of having three colors to choose from to color that belt, we are going to have the fourth color. Uh, the same for the pants. Like the pants, these are the uh, the new Genesis pants. And again, those pants only hold two colors. So even if we have uh, access to four colors in our color palette, those pants will still only be able to use two of those four colors. That does not change. But again, instead of, uh, of having to choose between uh, three colors as we can right now, we are going to be able to choose amongst four colors. I hope this makes sense. So when can we expect this fourth color to be added to the game? Uh, it's going to be added with Game Update 61. And when can we expect uh, Game Update 61? No idea. Uh, it's been added to the test server, server right now, and usually it takes about, at, at the very least, a week before the, the, the changes to the test server gets added to the game. But sometimes it, it can be a lot closer to two weeks. So at the very least, it will take at least one more week before we, we can have the fourth color. But uh, I would... I would pretty much expect it to take uh, two weeks, just to be sure. So let's hope this clear a bit of the confusion that people had uh, with the, the announcement that there would be a fourth color. And hopefully uh, people will, will uh, understand a bit better how that fourth color will work. And uh, essentially the extra options it will give us to, to be able to customize our character a little bit more. So that's it for today, guys. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.